you wanna render a huge scene, but this happened. If you wanna be happy like me, and watching me dancing is not enough, watch this video till the end. We have three different options, and each one gets faster and stronger. And if you stick till the end, I promise, this video will save you hours. So let's go, number one, ship it. If you are still not familiar with ship it yet, just search on Google, ship it. And this is ship it. Download it for your windows, then you can select how much memory, CPU cores and anything you want can be used. You see, many people use ship it daily. To show you an example, let me create a simple scene and render it to show you what I made. After that, you have to pack resources and make path relative. But remember, your file must be less than 2GB. Then you can send your file. There we go. You can render your project using GPU or CPU and also generate video output. My start frame is 1 and frame is 100. Then just after one refresh, you will see many people come to render your projects. This one for example has many RTX GPU devices. And he came to render your project. You can preview your images and also preview your result during render time which is really absolutely amazing to see everything is fine. And also our last frame animation which is really beautiful. This is how much does it cost. You render other people's projects and they render yours. Number 2. Google Colab Just search on the Google to find Google Colab. There we go, this is Google Colab. But don't let it fool you, just follow what I do. Upload the notebook you find in the description. Then after that, you have to change runtime type. If T4 GPU is not selected, select it. Then you can connect it. Then just simply run these commands one by one. This will install Blender and require files one by one. You have to connect to the Google Drive and also upload your Blender file before. First time Google may ask to verify yourself and after that you have access to your Google Drive, easy. Also you can select your Blender version, if you can't find it, keep watching and if don't, skip this part. Click it to see the code, then you have to add your desired version. For example, when I record this video, the latest version is Blender 4.5, so I'm going to type here Blender 4.5. Then simply save. Now you just have to add new line of code for Blender 4.5. I'm going to copy this code from 4.3 and add column here. And let me add the column. And now we got the new link. Let me show you how we can change it to the latest version. I'm going to copy the link from here to this area and I'm going to paste it on the now find your Blender version, in this case 4.5. We need to look for Blender for Linux. And you have to find correct version from your list. Copy the link, then you have to paste it here. And also I'm going to change 4.3 to 4.5. Now we got 4.5. When you run the code, you shouldn't see any error. And in the last part, promise this is the last part, we have two options. Why we have two options? To render animation, you can pick CUDA or Optics. Here I use Optics and here I will change the Blender file. I already uploaded on Google Drive. You can see my file here. Then you have to choose your start frame and last frame to render. Everything seems so good. And when I run this command, this is where magic happens. This will render our frames. And you can clearly see the results here. This is real time and you can see more frames coming and quality is so good. Number 3, Kaggle. Let me search and find the Kaggle for you. This is Kaggle. And this is your Kaggle dashboard. Let's create a notebook and let me rename this notebook for you. And also you have to remove this default code. And as you can see, in Kaggle you can get two Tesla T4 GPUs which is faster render and also P100 which is super expensive GPU and also you will get 30 hours per week to use these GPUs. You need to upload your file as a dataset and drag your blend file to the dataset and make a name for it and just create it, simple as it is and run each command one by one. But here you have to locate your file, just follow what I do. Easy. And also run all those commands one by one. In the last part, we have to create a folder and also we have two options, Optics or CUDA. 
I'm going to use optics and this will render your project. Remember, Kaggle is destroying, but it can stop your render at any time, which is frustrating. Please don't panic. Watch this video as bonus. You can render also using AI. 